Right now at 6, the Columbus community asking for more answers from police about why a man was shot in the back. This comes more than 24 hours after police released the cruiser and body camera video of the moments the officers pulled out a gun and fired six times. Thanks for watching 10 TV News at 6. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Police did find a gun on Michael Cleveland when he was arrested. Tonight, he remains in the hospital, but we still don't know why officers made a traffic stop in the first place. 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson has been following this story since the night of the shooting. And Ashley, you spoke with some of Cleveland's family members that night. What, what did they have to say? Well, Yolanda, I spoke to his family members on scene in the hours after the shooting. And let me tell you, they were in shock. And tonight, want to know what led to Michael Cleveland being shot by police. I was nervous and I'm shocked and I'm still shocked. I can't believe it. In an interview moments after Sunday shooting, Beverly Coleman told me about the call that the father of her children had been shot. I came down here and they was telling me the police shot him six times. Early in the investigation, she questioned what led up to those shots being fired and why police felt the use of force against Michael Cleveland was necessary. Well, he's a good person. He don't bother nobody. Video released by police late Monday shows two officers following the black Dodge truck Cleveland was driving. Officers recognized Cleveland seconds after he drove by. Oh, that's Michael Cleveland. The officers continued to follow Cleveland until he parked in an alley, got out, and ran away. Hey, sir. Seconds later, Officer Joshua Olinger shot Cleveland, firing at least five to six rounds. But look beyond Cleveland in this still frame of the body cam video. We out there marching, so if you shoot at Mike and if you miss him, I got children, I got elderly. Pastor Frederick Lamar and his church members were holding their monthly Stop the Violence event, with as many as 70 people marching along Wilson Avenue. Tonight, 48 hours after the shooting, Lamar is concerned the video will bring more community outrage. Me after seeing it, you know, I'm just, I'm just hurt by it. I'm hurt by the fact of where we try to bring about some resolution as far as stopping the violence. There is a disconnect somewhere. Pastor Lamar questions why police followed Cleveland in the first place. As I watched, it didn't look like he made no, he didn't run a stop sign. He didn't do nothing as far as breaking the law other than uh, maybe if he was targeted. A question asked to Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant in a Monday press conference. BCI has, uh, will get their statements and will make that determination on what the, uh, the, the stop was for. Meanwhile, Pastor Lamar hopes a member of his community is given a second chance, despite a long record of run-ins with police. Mike is respectful. Mike is caring. Mike is loving. You know, uh, that's all. That's all I ever known him to be. And tonight I'm learning there are some community events happening in the area. BCI is investigating the shooting and will determine if the use of force was necessary. I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10 TV News.